Good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's really, really crisp and cold though. I just did my Ocado order, my food shop for the week, and I'm walking Duke because I'm actually going out this morning, so I'm not taking him on like a proper long one until later. <laughs> okay there. Oh my god, that bench is so cold. I just sat on it and it has like raindrops on it and my ass is wet. It's all cold. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day. I haven't seen you since Vlogtober. How is the start of your November? This is going to be a crazy month. I'm moving. I'm moving into my new rental. So I need to get packing up. That's on the agenda. And the house is actually starting just about, just I say, to look like an actual house, which is cool. And it's officially like nine Saturdays until Christmas. Is it nine? I honestly can't even remember. I saw it, I saw it on Instagram. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna start Christmas shopping today because I'm actually going to Selfridges. And I haven't been to a department store in London, like a big department store in months, months and months and months. I don't even know why. I just haven't needed to. So I'm excited to go and like actually mosey around today. You ready, baby? God loves being slow in the morning. Loves it. Okay, I am getting ready. I wasn't supposed to do my makeup because I'm getting my makeup done today, but I just started and I couldn't finish. Oh, who's gonna miss this bathroom? I'm really gonna miss this bathroom. I'm just putting on some jewelry and I need to put on my lipstick. I need to get rid of my stamp. <laughs> I actually went out this weekend to a restaurant and they'd already put up their Christmas decor. It's the beginning of November and Christmas decor is already going up. I love Christmas. I'm not sure I'm ready for two months of Christmas though. I feel like when we start this early, like there is the risk that by the time it gets to Christmas, I'm so over it. Like if radio start playing Christmas songs now, like I love Christmas songs, but I like them when it's like not an overdose of them, you know? Let's just go upstairs and get my earrings. I would highly recommend putting multiple holes in your ears because it just means that you get to dress one more thing if you like that. I love changing my ears and changing them out and doing fun things every day. These are the Nadia hoops, which I love. I have loads of different amounts in my ears. I think I actually have a spare hole there. Yeah, I do. See? We love, I have six holes in one ear. Is that too many? What's the most anyone has? If someone has more than six in their ear, please let me know because I feel like six, I tell people I have six holes in my ear and everyone's like, oh my goodness, you're joking. What do I want in here? Maybe another little Amel? Amel is probably our best selling earring of all time. Over the whole almost year lifespan of Raimi, Amel's the best seller. I just switch out the colors to whatever ones I feel like. So I have a little emerald and then I have dusky blue. The shroom shelves are coming down tomorrow on Tuesday. So this is the last day of the shroom shelves, which is really heartbreaking. Oh, Jesus, I just had a piece of gum fall down my boot. <laughs> now I really need it. I need it. I need it. Oh. Waste not, want not. This is gonna be one of the last times I pick up a bag from the shelf. Outfit of the day. Ready to go Christmas shopping looking like an actual Christmas bauble. <laughs> this little coat is new from Santini. I love their coats so much. Go and check them out because they just do such fabulous coats. It's incredible. And if you're short like me, they'll make it to your height, which is what we did here. Underneath, I have a little brown jumper dress from Louise V. Roma, which has a little neck snuggy situation. Keep me warm. Got my good old favorite 50-50 boots on. Chanel bag, which I'm kind, of, I'm kind of liking holding as a clutch today. I think. And we got some Dior Sunnies on. We're ready to rock and roll. I am going to go and check out the Bare Minerals counter now. Sorry, I said I, and I always say we. <laughs> so for the first time, you I actually said I. I learned from the last, from the last time. <laughs> But I wanted to show you this lipstick because this is my favorite Bare Minerals lipstick. This is the Bare Pro. Look how much I've used of that. This is actually one of the best lipsticks, formula, color ever. This is Spice. It's like a peachy pink, more peach than pink. And it's so matte, but so, so creamy. And it is just so, mm, so hydrating and it lasts so long. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite Bare Minerals lipstick, so I had to go check that out because I'm going to go to their counter this morning. Are we ready to rock and roll, sweet yeah. pea? Let's go. If anyone comes to Mayfair, gorgeous Mayfair, Makato is really cool. If 
feel like it's very you. Oh my god, look at all the Christmas trees. Wow, look! Christmas trees! We're at the beginning of November. Who's like buying a Christmas tree ones. now? Same, like dinky ones. They're really it's cute. It's really cool in there, Makata. It's like all different food stands. So if you're going with people like, I could have a pad thai, you could have a pizza, you could have bower buns, I could have lamb. Oh and, my god, stop and making me hungry already. <laughs> What time it's are we only like lunch 10. Today? <laughs> <laughs> I could have started having lunch earlier and earlier. My record's actually 11 a.m. I'm For not lunch. Even joking. That's yeah. brunch, though. That's not that bad. What do you have at 11 a.m.? Like, if you're having like meat, I had like... like no, I had salmon and rice, and it was a very you lunch actually. That's not. I don't eat salmon and rice at 11 a.m. No, I had to. I was hungry. <laughs> hungry or hungover? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually this time it was hungry. <laughs> hungover is not salmon and rice. Hungover is like a wrap and pizza and yeah. chips. You know. Sweets, Maltesers. Here is Selfridges. Looking all beautiful. Oxford Street's got the lights. Let's go to my favorite, favorite beauty hall. Oh, it's red, but we're crossing. Look, the Christmas shop's already open. We have to go. I just said how I'm not ready for Christmas, but then the Christmas shop, I'm like, I'm in. That sugar sweet. You got what I need. Oh look! Oh my gosh! This mascara makes me my face look literally eight times like I finished mine of these. I actually really need a new one. This is the best brow gel ever. Anyway, we're at the Bevan Hills counter. If you couldn't tell, I'm kind of want to get my makeup done today. So maybe I'll pick up some things that we could use. Let's just have a look around first. Should we have a look at the Christmas stuff? Oh, oh my god! Look how cute this is! It's like little holly but with pink on it. Oh. I mean, look at how beautiful these sets are. Package. They've got loads of skincare. These are my babies. These are bare clothes. I've actually, I really wanted to come so I could see some different colours. Look at this colour. What's this? Spice is my favourite. This is Tunia. That goes in my coat. Wow. Oh no, like I wanted a different view. This is strawberry. Oh, that's pretty. But look how creamy they are. That's so pretty. So I want to try a few of them. And then also the little S, which is like so pigmented. I can't really tell because they've taken off the activator. There you go. I'm going to tell now. What else do we want to try? They're blush. Strike a rose. That looks pretty. I love blush. I use this brush. This is the most underrated brush. I use this brush every single day. Every single day I use this brush because it is so dense and so flat and so wide when you just want to quickly do your eyeshadow. This eyeshadow palette. Okay. Oh, pretty. Oh, wow, that's stunning. Oh, my God, I want to get my makeup done on this. Hey, look at that, these are the so me amber, tiger's eye, golden, cinnabar, rich amethyst smoke. Their packaging is all recyclable. You can take out the eyeshadow palettes, cut off the elastic, and then you can recycle them. Isn't that really amazing? So good. Ready to get my makeup done, just setting up. I'm gonna take all this off. First, we're gonna color match with the new original liquid mineral foundation. It's a classic foundation, bare minerals, but it's a liquid version. There's 30 shades. What do we think of the shade? It's quite good to me. Yeah? Yeah, I actually can't even tell where you put it. <laughs> it's literally like around here. Yeah, that looks, what shade was that? Golden, golden tan. tan. That looks yeah. really good. Sorry, that was golden tan actually. I literally can't. Shall we yeah. stick with that one? Yeah, let's stick with yeah, that one. That's perfect. Makeup results. Step number one is the prime time brightening foundation primer. I haven't tried this before. Let's see what this is like. How brightening are we talking here? Like highlightery. Yeah. You can see that. So this is the before. You guys see my under eye bags? This is the after. Look how flawless that looks. I'm gonna have to show you outside, but it is so different, but natural. That is incredible. 
incredible. We've used the liquid mineral foundation and also the Bare Pro stick concealer. I love stick concealers because you can literally just go and then blend it with your finger. Like what we did. That looks so flawless. I wanted to do something, not sure if you've done this, but I grabbed a darker concealer because I want a contour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. is that okay? Absolutely. Can we try that? Oh. Well, actually, we should probably do the other side of my face. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot about that. Last step on the skin before we move on to contouring and bronzer so is a little bit of mineral veil. I don't normally powder, but look under my eye here how much smoother that looks. It's like kind, kind of filtered. This is the powder. I loved how you applied it. Put it on this brush, what brush is this? <laughs> Diffused highlight, and you Roll have rolled the powder onto the skin. I've never applied my powder like that. It just made it look, oh, it feels so, so nice. nice. <laughs> like it just made it look so natural. We are doing a double, double blend. whammy blend <laughs> to see of the Feminals Bare Pro concealer. I love this in the darker shade. I think that looks really natural, natural. actually. All that looks so put natural. We put on quite a bit. Yeah. That looks really good. Yeah. I'm into that. Well, Have you ever done that with a fair pro concealer? No, I actually haven't. I'm really I'm happy with that. What are we doing now, bronzer? Bron that is a beautiful we colour. Love we love that it. is a stunning, stunning colour. Oh. It Isn't adds, bronzer just light? It adds so much colour and depth yeah. into the skin. I feel like a human with yes. bronzer on. Okay, this is free highlighter. Let's see how this goes. Natural as well. Oh wow, that looks amazing. So you will see it when the light hits. Yeah, beautiful. I can see that. That's like the perfect amount of highlighter for the day. Now onto eyes. This is the Bare Minerals Sunlit Palette. I love how they're like sweet little books, aren't they cute? I think this is this is me, a bit of me. This golden hour. Maybe we'll do a little bit of sandy, maybe a bit of bronze under the eyes. This is the Bare Pro colour we're going to use. I'm trying a new colour, a new shade for me. This is Petal, which is pink. pink. <laughs> <laughs> That looks really pretty. It's like darker, a darker pink than what I'm used to. Can we do the look? This is a very, I like, I just got really drawn to this. This is can't, can't even. I feel like I need to say it with an American accent. Can't even. I can't even. I can't even. I can't even. That is the finished look. God, I feel so flawless and smooth. The gloss. What do we think of the gloss over the top of the petal? I think that looks really nice. And can you see the gold on my eyes from sunlit? Now that my makeup's done, I just want to see what I'm gonna buy for who for Christmas presents. I was gonna get my mum this mascara because I know she loves it as well, but actually I think I'm gonna get her the Eye Essentials Trio because it has the brow gel in it and I think she'll love that. My sister, definitely eyeshadow palette kind of gal and I think I'm gonna get mum Rachel the brush set. So this is for Hannah. Let's get one of these. Beautiful little palette. How pretty. What do I want? Oh, this is what I want. This is what I want with the mascara and the brow gel in it. And then I also want to get a little... Oh, look how sweet this is in the makeup bag. There we go. One, two, three. Done. Oh my gosh, look at all the advent calendars and selfridges. There's beauty ones, but we are actually... Oh my god, I've never seen a Kinder Bueno advent calendar before. It's a really cute one. I've seen Lint and Lindor. Ooh, I've never seen, oh, I've never seen that giant teddy. Reese's! Wow. These are really cool. I wish I knew someone that was obsessed with Kinder Bueno, because then I could get that for them, but I actually don't really know anyone that is, like in an obsessive way. Like if there was a Dairy Milk advent calendar, that would be what someone would get me. <laughs> dairy Milk, where are you? Why aren't you on this wall? It's because it's not. Fancy enough. I love the lint teddy. Right, we're gonna go find a snack. We just went to get some snacks. Yeah. And Pia was like, we just Cody Grail word, yeah. Cody Grail word. He was like, when are you at Dairy Milk Bar? I was like, what, at 12 o'clock on a Monday? And you were like, you've had you it earlier than that. <laughs> you've had it worse times. So I was like, true. <laughs> Christmas shop on four. 
toy shop gifts bauble stock and pills decorations. Now, controversial, but I don't think I'm going to get a tree this year. A tree? Yeah. Well, actually, there's no point because you're not going to be. I'm not going to be in an actual like home. It's my home. I'm not going to be here. Did you have one last year? You did it. No, I had a mini one. You had a mini. Trees stress me out. They're so messy. Oh, I, I never them. look good. Yours always look good. I love them. I never keep my stuff. My mum never lets me use her decorations that I want to use, like my angel that I made when I was younger. Well, I keep it in. very minimal. Remember yeah. last year I did just lights. So my really mum nice. is very minimal. It looked really nice with trees. I don't know. Maybe after, maybe because I'm seeing trees so early now, by the time it gets to. <laughs> <laughs> By the time it gets to December, maybe I want a tree. Yeah, maybe you will. Maybe you just do a mini one again. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Okay, I feel like we've landed in Christmas kid land. We need to find the adult section. Amelia thinks she's a child. Close. I know exactly what you're trying to play. Dun 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 I always like picking fun Christmas cards because I feel like that's what makes people laugh, you know? <laughs> Get stuffed this Christmas. What's this? Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Did I tell you I was vegan? Mm, what else? <laughs> the pigs in blankets strongly recommend the goat's cheese bites. <laughs> <laughs> that's money. <laughs> Be a happy little pig in a blanket. Merry Christmas to be selfish, ungrateful family. <laughs> I love us. Merry Christmas, boyfriend. <laughs> oh, Happy Christmas, handsome. Sorry, handsome boyfriend. boyfriend. Their boyfriend, these cards anyway. No. It's too cheesy. Sees you when you're drinking. <laughs> Funny, I love that one. That's, I should get my mum that card. My mum actually should get that for me. This is actually my mum. Darling husband, you will be so surprised when you can see all the gifts you bought for me. <laughs> I'm gonna send that. <laughs> I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Or red. Or rosy. Thanks. <laughs> nice. Look at this. It's an avocado cleaning sponge. <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? <gasps> Perfect humanity one. No, is that good? Oh my god, it's what? so What? Cards good. Against Humanity? You should get this. What is that? It's so fun. It's quite dirty. Is it? Like, yeah, oh, how like, dirty! No, you have to finish. <laughs> you have to finish the sentences. So there's a card that uh -huh. says, um, I don't know, someone hiking on a mountain. Yeah. And then there's like some dirty answers, basically, that you have to add. And then someone chooses the funniest slash dirtiest answer, oh. and that person wins this card. But that says family edition. That sounds too PG. Yeah, you get. This we need that. The absurd. The absurd. Should we get that? It's actually really good. Is that really fun? Yeah. Friends Monopoly, yeah. Mean Girls the Burn Book Game. Oh my God! Look at this telephone box. It's like an advent calendar that you make yourself. My aunt B always used to make me advent calendars. They were amazing. But you can't really fit that much in there. I guess you put sweets in there, but that is really cool. Hi, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Love the little London. See, I knew I'd want a tree as soon as I came up here. Look how cool these are. Little Queenie, a little London bus, a telephone, a little Corgi. Look how sweet. God, these are beautiful. Ah, I love this one. Oh my gosh. I just turned around, look at Pia, that's giant. Guess how much that is? Uh, 50 quid. No, one more guess. 60 quid. 110. You're joking. Wow, it is, it is a really, oh I thought it would be heavier than that, you know, it's quite light. 
but actually that's you have you quite have to have quite a strong tree to hold yeah. that up. Or would you say 110? 110. Wow, 110. Oh my god, it's literally the size of your head. <laughs> wreaths and garlands. I'm not sure I'm ready for my wreath yet, but I do have a wreath on my door every year and I have one on my table. But these look beautiful. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that gold one. Look how stunning that is. That's beautiful. Oh, that's a really nice one too with the glitter. Which one's your fave? Do you want to know which one I get? Or to guess which one I get? I don't know, like a plainy one, I think. Like yeah. that one. Yeah. Really? Was yeah. that it? Oh, thank goodness. I was really scared for a right. second there that I wasn't going to get it right. I would get that one. Yeah, I feel like that's the most you. You didn't like the glitz. Yeah, the, I don't love the red, but I do love that gold one. That's really calling out to me. I'm not sure about the bauble ones, actually. I'm not sure about I'm a bauble garland wreath person oh but look at the sweet stockings did you guys used to have christmas stockings i loved christmas stockings they were so fun my mum kind of cheated and she made us put them in um, the other room so that she could fill them up easily you know me you know i love a christmas bauble Way! oh it's santa and mrs klaus kissing Oh, I could literally look at baubles all day. They just take you to another world, don't they? Look how magic that is. So calming as well. Oh, I think I have a bauble fetish, honestly. You know that one. Oh, are you singing? <laughs> Go on. Go on, give it, give no, it to me. Not we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh my God, look at these baubles. I keep getting distracted with other things. These are painted. Oh, those are so beautiful. They must be hand painted these. Oh, little partridge. Is that a partridge? Oh my gosh, that's huge. That one takes you to an, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in it. Wow. Wow, oh, I love that. I love snow, snow globes are my favorite things. If anyone's ever stuck and what to get me, get me a snow globe. It's got too much going on. Yeah, I agree. Look at this pet advent calendar. That's so cute. Do you would literally eat that all in one go, could you imagine? <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my god, dog socks and cat socks. It's what box. is that? Oh you put your wishes in it. That's quite cool. That's really cute. Just write them in. A wish or... and done. Oh. Like when you Oh, so then it shows you how many you've Yeah, done how, how many, many you've done, how many were wishes. That's clever. That's really cute. Love that manifesting energy. And look at this! It's a hot dog. But a tea infuser? That's actually amazing. That's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. But you need a to have hot a dog too. Mug. Yeah, otherwise you do actually, otherwise funny. it's not that funny. Well, actually that's still quite funny. Yeah. There is also a new Selfridges Christmas market on the road next to Selfridges, which I kind of want to go to, but I want to go in the evening because it's all lighty and festive and cute. I am going to a very exciting dress fitting. Let's just stay on the phone in the background if you can hear, but I quickly want to show you my outfit before I leave because I'm wearing the Santini coat again, but I've styled it kind of differently. I have a little me and M jumper underneath with my little mini Hermes bag. Sorry, it's so cloudy today and dark. Then some jeans and my Cassidy boots on, ready to go. So, news of the very gray miserable rainy day is that I'm going to the fashion awards. I'm going to the fashion awards and I'm so excited and one of my friends Sabina has a gorgeous couture brand and I've been dying to wear one of her dresses so I'm going today for a fitting so hopefully I can wear one of them to the fashion awards which is going to be really exciting. I keep seeing them on her Instagram and they're just stunning. I'm in the beautiful showroom. Wow, everything looks so gorgeous. Even the pillows say Sabina on them. They're stunning. I'm gonna try a couple of things on. I've seen this one on your Instagram and it is so gorgeous. I hope I fit into it. And the pink. Ah, look at this. Let me show you some others here that we have. Look how beautiful this is. Wow, this is amazing. And this is so cool. I love it. Your designs are like, so beautiful. You're so talented. You guys work so much. Look at this dress. Wow, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. No, it's like a background. What? <laughs> okay, pretty background now. I mean, better. I'm funny. The dress, the little ones are so sweet. Okay, let's get me out of this dress and see if I can put on the pink one. We couldn't actually do this one up fully, which is so sad because it's so beautiful. This is dress number two. Ignore my underwear. <laughs> wow. It's so amazing. 
Wow. Look how pretty. It's amazing. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this detail, look at this shape. Wow. I always do this, don't I? I come to fittings with the brightest underwear ever. <laughs> Bright blue. Wow. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> She's hiding behind. Oh my god, but it's so beautiful. Oh no. It's amazing. I feel like a fairy in this. Two things in my bathroom that I'm obsessed with right now. One is this Declior cleansing milk, which is so gentle and beautiful on the skin. Two is the new Oral-B toothbrush, which is so cool. I've never been so excited about a toothbrush before. So they sent this to me because we're working on a project for Instagram and I am obsessed with it. It's so freaking good. It has a little display screen and you didn't bet you didn't know this, it has, look at that colouring, it has a light, like green is good pressure when you're brushing your teeth and red is like too much pressure. I use way too much pressure on my teeth. And then it has a timer and if you stop your tooth brushing before two minutes it has a sad face. Is that not one of the best things you've ever seen? Look at this, my little toothbrush is sad, it's so cute. And really good fitting at Sabina's showroom which is so exciting. I'm gonna go back and try on two more dresses and then we're gonna make a decision about what to wear for the fashion awards. The fashion awards are in a month so that gives us a good amount of time for a fitting which is really cool and I think she launches around the time of the fashion awards and she wants to be the first couture brand that are based in London, which is so cool, well, in the UK really, which is so exciting for her. Next week is a really big week. It's move out week for me. <gasps> Trying not to have a mental breakdown about it, but you know, we are where we are. So it's time to get pack it back in. You've probably seen a few boxes in the background of my vlog today, cause we is moving and grooving and shaking. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week and I will see you next Sunday with another vlog. Mwah. Night guys.